infants per 1,000 births are born without hearing. Without assistance, these children are less likely to learn at the same rate as their peers, putting their education and futures at risk. There are people who will not let this happen. They are the people at the Hear and Say Centre. Hidden up a side street in Orkenflower is this workshop of wonders. The dedicated Hear and Say crew offer young children born without hearing an opportunity to hear and an opportunity at the best shot at life. 96% of the children who graduated in 2010 from the Hear and Say's Early Intervention Auditory Verbal Therapy Program are attending mainstream educational settings. This would not have been possible without the efforts of the skilled audiologists working here at the Hear and Say Centre. I'm here with Simone, a therapist at the Hear and Say Centre at Brisbane. So Simone, what exactly does your job involve? Uh, well, I'm an auditory verbal therapist, so I have therapy with the children a couple of days a week and then I also oversee the playgroup down here every Tuesday. So give us a quick wonder of how the playgroup works, like what do you guys do down here? Um, well, it's um, just to involve all the families. So we try and make playgroup a bridge between what we do in lessons with the children for therapy and what the parents do at home, because with our program it's really what the parents do at home that makes all the difference. So we just try and set up lots of different activities that the parents can stimulate their children's language, look at the goals that they're working on for their children and try and integrate those into the activities that we have. Yeah, and would you consider your job a rewarding job? Like, do you Definitely. enjoy doing it? Yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's fa fabulous. Okay, so this is Sarah. She's a mother of Lucas, who's um, at the Hear and Say Centre at the moment. Yeah, so if you could say something about the staff at the centre, like okay. a few words, what did you say? Absolutely. Um, the staff are incredibly committed. You can tell, you know, we're all here, the parents and families are here because we have to be, but they really seem to be here because they want to be. I suppose we dedicate an hour a day to actually doing games or lessons with Lou and an hour to reading, but the main thing is all day, every day, when he's awake, during his waking hours, when he has his hearing aids or his cochlear implant on. We know he's hearing everything around the home. He walked past the washing machine recently and jumped into my arms. I've never seen a little person <laughs> jump so high so quickly. He must have walked past it a million times before, but never realised it made a noise. So yeah, we know he's hearing. <laughs> Imagine for a second not being able to hear rain falling on a tin roof, not being able to know what music is, what your mother's voice sounds like. Hey, I'm here with Cathy, the community relations for the Brisbane Hear and Say Centre. So Cathy, how did you become involved with Hear and Say Centre? Um, my involvement with Hear and Say started about nine years ago when my youngest daughter Jessica was diagnosed with a hearing loss. Um, she was, her hearing loss was caused by chemotherapy um, and when she went off to grade one um, they asked me to stay and I've, and I've been here ever since so that was, I've been working for them for six years now. Is it a rewarding job? For me I guess over most people that work here is I have the reward of um, I know that everything I do for the organisation when I go home I get to see the results every day. The cochlear implant in here, would you just like to explain how that works? And the cochlear implant has an external and an internal component. Um, unlike a hearing aid, for those um, people that have ever been familiar with hearing aids, hearing aids and cochlear implants start the same in the way that they work, is that they have microphones on the back that receive the sound, and then they have a microprocessing computer inside which processes that sound. Well, we're now nearly 20 years on, and Hear and Say is blossoming in every direction. We have lots of potential from here. 